A what? So. <laughs> Ooh, do I have a speech problem? So can you do English tuition? Wow, I have to be careful when I talk. Many times people think that I have the ability to help them to improve on their public speaking. I have the ability to help them to improve on their pronunciation. But the truth is that we don't go around um, analyzing what people say or how they pronounce certain words. That's how interesting the name of our occupation can be. I believe communication is a basic function of life. Um, and we all have a voice and we all have something to say. So when this ability is taken away, people often think that they can't make any choices. Um, and it can be very distressing. Um, so I want the PWAs to know that they don't have to walk this journey alone in order to uh, bring out the best uh, or have the best outcomes for people with aphasia. important uh, not just for people without aphasia to know about what aphasia is but for people with aphasia to understand you know that condition simply because their impairment is so invisible so unknown when the um, impairment cannot be seen misunderstandings and sometimes their judgment towards this group of people we just need more people to be aware of the our fellow people in the community going through these challenges and be more patient with their needs. Because many of them will benefit from that extra time uh, to express their thoughts. So that we can support them through their lives. Uh, I would say use more yes-no questions. Speak at a normal tone and natural loudness. Um, don't you know, treat the person like they, they don't understand you at all. Using short phrases when giving uh, information or conveying message will also be helpful for them. But if there is a need to convey long messages, uh, write down keywords to help uh, them with understanding uh, on retaining of information. I guess very importantly is be patient, wait for a response. Because you know, sometimes for people with aphasia, it takes more time to either understand or try and get the words out and also um, being comfortable with silence and you don't always have to feel um, you know, silences with words now. Use simple sentences. Um, expect to connect with the person um, beyond words. Try drawing, pointing or refer to pictures. Use gestures. If all else fails, uh, please do get in touch with a speech therapist and he or she can further advise on what strategies may work best for your loved ones. She had a stroke when her child was just a baby and she was very depressed because she's unable to bond with the child like a, any normal um, mother. So the first time I saw her, she has no words and she communicates mainly uh, through her facial expressions. She's very expressive and so I'm using some simple pictures. So the moment she sang, just a very simple um, twinkle twinkle little star, just two lines, call out her child's name. I think the joy in her face and the engagement I get with her is really um, priceless. Yeah. Mm, there was this gentleman with um, aphasia who used to come to clinic with his daughter. Um, it was particularly difficult for him to express himself. So. Uh, it made it harder on him when he is uh, when he's very aware of his errors. Through supported conversations, he was able to get his messages across. And you can see, uh, once he achieved that successful, uh, meaningful interaction, he visibly relaxed and then uh, it was as if he was glowing from the inside. When I was trying to explain to the daughter supported conversation strategies uh, and how, how they can do it at home also, um, she wasn't interested. It was really very painful for me as a therapist to watch that. Um, his struggles were very real and very obvious, but the fact that um, the family might not have uh, taken to supported conversations as, uh, as well as they could have um, was really hard for me to swallow. I 
wish for people to be kinder, to be more unseen, consider the possibility that someone may have an unseen difficulty. Aphasia again is a loss of language, not a loss of intellect. And it's really up to us, everyone in Singapore, to understand, be patient and accept a person with aphasia. Be open-minded to different ways of communicating. Communication is just more than talking. I also do hope that people with aphasia will you know, get more confident to foster new friendships with fellow PWAs. Strive to allow their voices to be heard and feel more empowered to advocate for themselves. Hope that more people in Singapore will get to know about aphasia through Aphasia SG. Maybe, you know, uh, participating in some of the Aphasia SG outreach events and receive more support from the society to provide a safe and inclusive community for people with aphasia.